Hello, my name is Brian Largent, and this is another episode of 3 Minute Thursday. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between business class computers and consumer grade computers. Business class computers, usually you buy them online or through a vendor like Arclight uh, to have deployed to your environment, and consumer grade computers are the ones that you would buy at Best Buy. Now I'm asked many times whenever we quote computers, why don't I just buy the computer myself or why don't I just go to Best Buy and buy a computer for my organization? Well, I've answered that so many times, I thought it probably would be a good idea to go ahead and create a video that covers this topic kind of once and for all. So here we go. So what do you need in a business class computer? Well, you need a TPM. A TPM is a trusted platform module built into the motherboard of business class computers that allows the storage of encryption keys. That allows you to encrypt your computer without having to put an encryption key to unlock it in every time you log into your system. So you just have to log in and log out as normal without having to go do a secondary step to decrypt the system and allow you in. Next you want a solid state drive. Now previously on systems uh, mechanical drives were pretty much the standard. Solid state drives are relatively new still but the cost has come down now where they are completely cost effective to deploy a solid state drive in a computer. But don't be fooled. Most manufacturers are telling you you need a one terabyte, two terabyte, four terabyte drive, but you don't. In a business environment, everything should be stored on the server. You do not want to give your employees a large amount of storage where they can dump either personal or work-related things on their local computer. A small solid state drive of 128 gigabytes will usually suffice. If you haven't had dual monitors in the past, you will probably want to start doing that going forward. Dual monitors will increase productivity by 20 to 40 percent. So when you add dual monitors, then you have to have the correct cables to connect to the system, as well as the right video card in the system to match the dual monitors. You might also want wireless integrated or Bluetooth, and you're definitely going to want to match the spec of any software you have. For instance, QuickBooks Pro right now requires a minimum of 4 gigabytes of RAM, but they recommend 8. If you bought a system at Walmart today and spent three or $400 on it, it may have 4 gigs of RAM, but a portion of that RAM is allocated to video meaning that you're not actually getting the 4 gig to run your application, let alone run your application and a secondary application. When QuickBooks Pro says they need 4 gig, that is 4 gig available to their app. If you want to run Excel at the same time, you may need another 2 gigabytes of RAM. We do not deploy systems today that have anything less than 8 gigabytes of RAM dedicated to applications. And then there's the form factor of the computer itself. You may want something very small if you have a confined space or something much larger if you want flexibility to add different video cards or add-ons later on. On this slide, I have a consumer grade computer on the right and a business class on the left. Most of the configuration is identical. The difference is on the business class, you have a Windows 10 Pro operating system. Consumer is Windows 10 Home. Pro allows you to join to a corporate domain, whereas Home does not. It also has a TPM on the, on the business class computer and it does not on the consumer grade computer. The video card has some discrepancies, but overall you really don't see a lot of cost difference. So why is it more expensive to buy a computer through a vendor like Arclight versus buying it through a Best Buy or Amazon or direct from the manufacturer? It's because they don't give us any discounts. They don't give anyone any discounts. The very largest uh, companies out there selling these computers are selling them at such a tiny margin, uh, but they're selling in large volume, right? If you order it from them and it's incorrect, you can return it, you can accept the responsibility for that. But if we order it from them, we're going to have to accept the cost of returning it, which is very costly to our organization. So we mark up to cover our liability and for our knowledge of picking out the correct system for you either in the first place or if we happen to make a mistake, returning it and getting you the right system at no additional cost to you. The next question we're asked is, why is it so expensive to have a computer deployed? I just want you to put it on my desk and just unbox it and put it there. Well, that's not really what you want. What you want is you want us to get in there, remove the bloatware applications, such as the cloud backup software that your employees can turn on when they feel like it, and back up all your protected health information to the cloud. So you want us to get rid of that, all the other applications that are managing different aspects of your software that are not needed. Then you want us to install custom uh, customer required applications, we're going to install customer printers, map your network shares and drives, install our antivirus, install remote monitoring and management agents so we can support the computer remotely or on site and keep your costs down. You want us to join it to the domain, grant the user applicable permissions based on job function, then migrate the user's business related data to a new system. So what you're really asking is a multi-step process that takes quite a bit of time. It's not as simple as just dropping a computer on the desk. 
And there's always the unforeseen. I'm not going to read through these, but these are some of the things that we ran into in the past. We'll put a computer out and the company will tell us their internet's now slow or they're having problems with things not being exactly where they used to be or they can't find certain files. Well, that's really on the end user and how they store data or if they're using cloud repositories. So, so we really can't control some aspects of the new computer deployment, but we can help you figure out what's causing the issue and then we can help you mitigate that if they come up. And lastly, put value on your employee's time. That could be you. If you're the one doing the ordering on the computers and you don't want to use a third party because you're going to save money, usually what we see is it ends up costing the client more to buy computers themselves than to use a third party and pay the markup. Well, that's all I've got for today. If you have any questions or concerns or would like to learn more about ArcLight, feel free to reach us at the number in your screen. Have a wonderful rest of your week.